Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. If you've been following the attempted coup plot from the 2020 election, you're going to recognize the name Tina Peters. She's the former county clerk from Mesa, Colorado. She was fired after she was indicted on numerous charges for her involvement in that scheme to try to, or actually it did work, to illegally access voting equipment in their county. And this was, of course, to try to help Trump overturn the election. She was also the person, you may recall, who was hidden in a safe house at one point by my pillow loon, Mike Lindell. So this woman who put her freedom and career on the line for Trump's election fraud lies is now being accused of trying to rig her primary election. This is a person who swore up and down that the Democrats must have committed voter fraud, election fraud, something was done illegally. And now she's being accused by a member of her own party of trying to rig her primary election. So here's the deal. The Republican chairman for Mesa County, it's a man named Kevin McCarney, he alleges that before anyone else declared their candidacy for county clerk, Peters approached him and she asked him to ensure that no other Republican would be able to enter the race. So McCarney told the Daily Sentinel, quote, she called me and said, hey, would you please keep anybody else from running for clerk? I'm like, Tina, really? No, I don't do that. There have been other Republican chairs who have tried to do things like that. I won't do it. McCarney claims that he then reminded Peters that officials are elected by the voters and not party insiders. And then he went on to tell the Sentinel, quote, how could someone be for election integrity and then ask that? I was very disappointed because I've been pretty clear about that for all four years that I've been in office. We don't play that game anymore. If you want to run, you run, but don't ask me to block anybody. She was asking me to fix her race to make sure she had a spot because she knew she was going to lose here. I don't do that, and I would never do that, so why are you even asking? And remember, Peters is the same person who just lost in that primary, and she refused to concede because she said, oh, there must have been election fraud. But she paid for and had a recount and it proved that voters just didn't want her. And this is also someone who's featured in Mike Lindell's latest election fraud fantasy film. This is some, a new documentary, as he calls it. It's called Selection Code. And it's all about the machines taking over. I mean, <laughs> this guy has watched way too many Terminator movies, seriously. And Peters was supposed to speak at a, yet another bogus election fraud summit hosted by Lindell. This was all about launching this new documentary, so-called documentary. And this was just last weekend. So the district attorney handling Peters' case said, mm, no. He said, no, you're not leaving the state. You're not leaving the county. And you're not especially going to another one of these election fraud events. So he refused Peter's request to leave the state and to attend this you know, latest Lindell clown show where he once again completely, absolutely proved nothing other than the fact that he loves to waste his money and he's easily duped. Oh, and, and it was apparently a shit show, as you would imagine. Like Mike Lindell said that there would be no breaks throughout the entire event. There would be no reason for people to ever leave so he trapped everybody there and then showed them nothing, showed them the same bogus crap, told them again that Trump's election is going to be pulled down. 
is going to be pulled down. We're going to have a the Trump back in office before the, you know, whenever, whatever the date is now that he's moved it to again. <laughs> I, can, I cannot believe that people keep attending these things, that they keep buying this BS and they keep believing in him. It is insane in the membrane. So anyway, guys, when and if I hear more, I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. 